Okay, I actually forgot to get my vitamin C and pop a vitamin D pill. Because uh, I said in the last video, I'm actually a little sick. Mm. But, that's how it goes. Mm. Oh, I should really take a break in between these videos, but I really want to pump them out. Mm. Ah, God. You know, as a kid, I really hated popping pills because for medicine. Because there's, because yeah, as a kid, these things, are, these pills are like actually pretty big to swallow, it's hard to swallow. Mm. I'm gonna pop another two vitamin C's. All right. So anyway, okay. So as I'm actually recording this video, it's 9:32 a.m. Uh, David Zilla actually said that he's actually going to phase out. Uh, Z share version one, and there'll be some kind of conversion. So technically, I should wait on that, but I figure he's gonna convert that into like more of these clowns, so the price is gonna get pushed up anyway. So I I, I think it'll be okay, all right, if I just skip out on it. But I thought I'd just mention it, all right. But with that being said, David Zill, let me check the Discord. Um, okay, I know you are waiting for an update from Discord announcement. I'm evaluating possible solutions because you may know this protocol is programmed to only have one share, and having two Z shares at the moment is not very sustainable. For we are feeling with circus. Now I ask everyone to split the Z the Z share version one liquidity pools and prepare for the transition to version two. The transition will be carried out in a fair ratio. We need to do this because I know that we have many big investors who are watching Zilla, but they don't want in because they don't want to deal with two Z shares, which makes sense. Now let's set the protocol up together and grow it together. And then he said, I will give you instructions. I can't stand dealing Z share version one anymore. Sorry, I dumped it a while ago. That's why I'm taking so long to wait on doing a Zilla Finance video because there's just too many changes going on. Especially when it's like in a very, it looks like it's in a bad state, but it's really not. It's just that David Zilla just has like 11 trillion things to deal with and he's dealing with it, you know, exactly as he should as the problems come out. It's just that there's a lot of problems, but everyone's working through it. And I would actually like eventually for David Zilla to have someone help him out with the coding. This is just way too much for one person to deal with. And I know he's like uh, a really young guy, like he's like forgiven, but he's gonna run out of energy at some point, even for a young teenager like him. So, you know, it's like, he really needs extra help. So that's, that's my only concern with Zilla Finance. But for the most part, it makes a lot of money anyway, right? Or is it, actually it still does make a lot of money, right? Don't let this low TVL, you know, trick you all right it's just low because all the all the base tokens are shit that's why in terms of price so all right i mean we don't really need to look at these charts but i'll bring it up and of course as always going forward there will now be auto compounders because this is actually the core of my new strategy for tomb forks now so mm. oh god i wish i wasn't sick because it actually interferes with my ability to make content you know, as much as I like popping these vitamin C pills, of course. So, all right. So that out of the way, I'm really just watching the Discord for any new updates. So, just pretty much pretend that version going forward, Z, Z share version one no longer exists. It's about to get phased out in probably the next couple hours or whatever. Some kind of fair trade ratio. And I do have to talk about this, but I need a little more time, but... I do want to also look at the circling supply of the base tokens because that actually affects the price as well. Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, as you may already know, Zilla and Z shares, the real ones now, we're just going to pretend that Z share version one no longer exists. So whenever I mention anything, just assume it's the new 2.0, which is the current live version. So Zilla is getting hammered, all right? We're at all-time low. So far, three dollars forty-two cents, three fifty. This is perfect, by the way. I love this. 
Alright, Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb, I just did the video on that. By the time you watch it, YouTube should have already processed it. I held that shit through the bottom, making some okay yields. Now it's popping off. Alright, Zilla Finance will be doing the same thing, because now we're at the bottom. Alright, you missed a Snow Tomb, Frozen Tomb dip? Technically, it's not too late, and it'll be a safer position to go into that. But, you know, you want to be like me, alright, you always want to buy these dips. And again, thanks to Auto Compound or Yield Wolf, you automatically buy the dip all the time. Alright, and you just pull out a little bit of profit. This thing is freaking perfect. It's near perfect. I'm not saying perfect, but near perfect. Because I would like for the the accounting for, the, for Yield Wolf to be a little better. Alright. But again, I'll just deal with that when we do the strategy video. For, you know, how to profit off of Tomb Forks. And how I'm starting to find new ones now. Alright, because obviously most of you are not in the Elite Discord, so... And even I'm finding projects that are not mentioned in Elite Discord, thanks again to Yield Wolf. So anyway, Zilla is at all-time low, right? And Z-Share is also pretty much an all-time low, right? Alright, so now that I see the David Zilla phasing out Z-Share version 1, this is actually perfect timing. Now, I don't have to do anything because I'm already in my Yield Wolf poll. So I'm already making good income, believe it or not, because these APYs are insane. So even with these dips, I'm just buying up more and more shit, essentially, thanks to Yield Wolf, because of the auto compounder, constant buy pressure. So when Futters and idiots and paper hands dump, I'm accumulating more, all right? And other people are accumulating more, too, all right? So that when this does pop off, just like Snow Team and Frozen Team are doing right now, uh, yeah. I'm going to be like Borat with that big smile, fake mustache thing he does. All right. So what pools am I in? Uh, okay, well, I just have to spend a little time breaking apart all my Z-Share version 1s, all right, because David just literally made the announcement as I'm doing this video. And I'm just, I just sold all my Z-Share version 1s. I didn't have that much left in it anyway. All right, because I just don't want to deal with it. So, you know, whatever. So I, I am, as always, in the share base token. These are my favorite pools now. Because I actually want everything. On the one hand, I need the base token to help the protocol. But on the other hand, I know that the big money ultimately comes through the shares. All right? What does Dow King always talk about? All right? I only seen a couple of his videos, and I don't have time for anything else. But you know, when he when I do talk to him, right, in the elite Discord at least, what does he always say? Right? Which he told you, he wants the two shares. He wants the three shares. He wants the two shares. He wants the three shares. He's going, to make, he's going to make million dollar plays on the two shares. He's going to make million dollar plays on the three shares. He wants the two shares. He wants the three shares. So what's the one thing, what's the one takeaway that, you know, I get from that? Okay, so a likely multi-millionaire is telling me he wants the fucking shares. So what does that mean? Oh, well, if I'm in these tomb forks and I know the developers community are more or less there and solid and not losing morale and giving up, well, I guess I need the shares too. Because everybody's just copying what 2 ohm and 3 ohm does, plus a little bit of tweaks. So whatever happens to 2 ohm and 3 ohm happens to every other fork. So Z share two Z shares was designed to like last only three months, because that's what two shares does in 2 ohm. In fact, I hope this is updated by now. Hmm. I'm looking for how long is this distributed for. I guess he didn't talk about that. Good. I'm also glad that people aren't bitching about the fucking renouncing here, too. Because that's what screwed up Zilla in the first place. Because everyone bitched about, you need to renounce, you're not legit. You need to renounce, you're not legit. So David Zilla did it. We got the boardroom problem. And then we couldn't change it because of the renouncing. Oy, oy. Hmm, okay. I'm trying to figure out how long it's supposed to be vested, but originally it's supposed to be over three months. I mean, I guess I'd be okay if it was over 12 months, but I really like the idea of over three months. I guess I could try to calculate this. 521. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it's going to be vested over 20 or 12 months. All right, I guess I could ask David Zilla, too, in the Discord, but... All right, I'm looking at the circulating supply. It's already been, like... 
I don't know. It's been like, what, a week now? Ten days? I don't know. These days look like they're, they're months now because so much just happens so quickly. Yeah, but I'm looking at the circulating supply compared to the total supply. So I think it's this is going to be vested over 12 months. Okay, so, so I'm going to assume for now that Z shares are going to be vested over 12 months. That's different from 2 ohm and 3 ohm because 2 ohm, 2 shares is done over 3 months that then plugs into 3 shares, right, for 12 months, right? So, all right, well, whatever. Good, still good enough, all right? Uh, okay, so, and then regular Z shares are done because, again, people are just fudding, so whatever, I don't care. All right, oh man, that vitamin C really did the trick. All right, so what pools am I in? Okay, so I'm definitely in Z Share Zilla. I have a little bit in Z Share AVAX. In fact, I actually increased this position after I had to dump all my Z1 liquidity pools. And then we can just ignore these. Yeah, the nice thing about getting rid of the Z1 liquidity pools here, both on the website and the Yield Wolf, is these APYs, they're all going to go into here now. Right, so these things are about to pop off as well. Now I'm I'm thinking David would probably go. You know, we'd really need Zilla back up at Peg, so he's probably going to assign all. He should assign most of these rewards from version one all into AVAX Zilla, right? Because we need this back at Peg. And when we get the Peg back up, right, Z share is going to pop off too. So again, I'm already well set, right? Because I always want more Z shares, but I need to help out the protocol and so do you. So again, I see Z share Zilla is doing really well. Plus, it pays more than everything else or very similar to Z share. And you're constantly buying up Zilla because this reward, because all these rewards pay out in the shares, right? So thanks to the, thanks to the auto compounder, right? What is actually happening? Yield Wolf is selling the Z shares as intended, right? Because that's your rewards and buying Zillas, right? Which is causing constant buy pressure, right? You know, some of these like some of these small numbers, I think they're like this is some of these has got to be Yield Wolf, right? In fact, uh, no, that might be a real buy. I don't know. So let's see, Z share Zilla. When was the last time this compounded? Fourteen minutes ago. Great. Actually, it could have been no. It was not me, because I yeah, it was not me. It was someone else. But again, that's why I lo that's why I'm loving Yield Wolf. Right, community compounds. So they we as a community handle the gas fee. So all it takes is one person to do it, and you know they get a bounty too. I completely forgot to mention this in the last video, but you get a bounty, right? So it's not like you're entirely paying for the gas fee all by yourself, right? You're, you're getting compensation. Now, I don't know where this goes, if it goes directly in your wallet or if it automatically compounds into this, right? I personally have not used it yet, right? And I'm not going to, right? Because, you know, everyone else, someone else is doing it. And plus, I'm technically losing money on the gas fee, so I'd rather just wait, right? Just let it accumulate. And I still don't understand, oh, I still don't understand exactly what this is saying. I'm just, but I just know that there, uh, it, okay, I definitely understand on every deposit and withdraw, it likely will compound, but it's got to be this action plus 0.3% of pending rewards, which I believe is, well, I don't have anything in here, but there would be a pending rewards thing here, right? It has to be greater than the transaction cost, gas fees, but I don't know what this means. Why is it adding on the other side of the equation incentive compounds and community compounds? That I don't actually understand. Um, so I guess maybe it's to save the people gas fees because if I hit this compound button, it actually is, it affects this. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah, because if, I, if the community compounds this, right, over here, then the left side of this equation becomes less than the right side. And we obviously do not want the left side to be compounding. Oh yeah, because we just compounded. Okay, so it's a programming, this is why I gave up programming and logic, because like it's, it's these things you have to really think through and then it makes sense, but it's just so counterintuitive and annoying. Okay, so I think I kind of understand this. I'm just gonna ignore the word incentive compounds and just assume it's a community compound or whatever, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, your Z shares are being sold as intended by the protocol, right? That's how Tomb, Tomb and Tomb Forks work. And it automatically buys up Zilla. So this thing is perfect, right? 
This thing is perfect for me. All right, now I'm now liking this because I still want the Z shares, but if I'm just aping the Z shares, it doesn't it doesn't actually help the protocol. That's that's the main problem. But you kind of still need good APY on it because without liquidity, your project also just doesn't work. So it's like a tug of war. That's why these things are like the perfect solution, right? Everybody wins, right? That's why I love this shit. Zilla Z share. So. I mean, there's not really much to it. You probably want to dip your toe a little bit, right? And yeah, not financial advice, blah, blah. I'm already in this already, so... I mean, I'm technically playing with, like, profit money, right? But I want more, right? Actually, I kind of need more, too. So, I'm just big chilling in these two pools. Most of my most of my Zilla Finance investment money is in Z-Share Zilla, right? I just started doing this, like, yesterday or maybe two days ago or a couple days ago, right? So, it's a very new thing for me. Just like Yield Wolf. Because I was in so many projects, and I actually don't like that I'm covering all these projects on my YouTube channel. And you don't really try investing in it, but it was getting to the point where I couldn't keep up with everything. I, I don't want to spend all morning or night constantly compounding manually and then paying all those gas fees in like three different blockchains, right? And by going to Polygon, you know, maybe four. It's like, okay, like this is just physically impossible for me to do. I need some kind of solution. And then I guess God finally told me, hey, what's this compounder thing? Maybe, Johnson, you should take a look at this, right? You know, I created Yield Wolf for a reason. Here, you take a look at this compounder. I'm like, oh, auto compounder, compounder. Wait a minute. Doesn't this solve my problem? And that's exactly what's happening. So now I can be invested in all of these projects, and it's great. I love it, right? It's like I'm planting, like, you know, crops, right? I plant, you know, I spend 60 or 120 bucks on all these various projects, right? which I'll, I'll make some videos on it, hopefully today. I don't know. There's already video number two for today. And I got something to do for President's Day holiday. I don't know exactly when. So I'm going to try to pump out a lot of videos before then. Right? I can put 60, 120 bucks, like a planting a crop, and then like maybe in a few months, it'll be worth like 20 grand because of these auto compounder crazy APYs. And I know to buy at the bottom. That will also be in the strategy video for Tomb Forks. Right, uh, you know, I'll, that'll, that's actually the video that you know, I still have to wait on. All right, but I would like to make that very soon. So, so with that being said, if I'm auto compounding, auto buying, auto DCAing at the bottom, right, which is what's happening with Zilla right now, because everyone's dumping when I'm buying, right, when us smart money people are, you know, whatever in here, yeah. Eventually, Kong Finance will come out, which is the three ohm of Zilla Finance. He said it's an estimated two weeks, right? He actually reiterated that just now on the Discord, like 30 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. Uh, in fact, the link is over here because my stupid camera is covering it, right? Just look at the upper right corner by my wallet. You see Kong Finance. It doesn't do anything when you click it, I believe. So obviously, it's not out, but you know it's coming, right? And then we're at the bottom. So, I mean, you missed out on Snow Tomb, which I hope did not happen, right? Uh, most of you should have held at the bottom, even bought a little more, or you probably were already doing Yield Wolf on it. So, good for you. You um, you made more money than I made, technically, as a percentage. So, very good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, how much easier can I make this for you? How much easier can God make it for you to and Jesus Christ to make you, like, rich and stuff like that? So... Anyway, uh, so that's pretty much it. You know, I'm big chilling. You know, I actually pulled a little profit because I need a little money, right? I actually really don't want to, but I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be forced to because obviously I have to pay rent, right, in like three weeks or something. So I make sure my credit card and bank account or whatever has got the money. Because I actually put my stuff on the credit card because I want the Amazon rewards uh, points. So I always pay everything off on time because, you know, credit card interest debt, like that thing is basically like a hundred to two hundred percent APY for the bank, which means you're losing all your money every year. It's like, it's it really should be banned credit cards, right? And high APY charges on it should be banned, right? But you know we we live in the central banks control everything, so we have no we have no fairness. There's nothing fair about our system. And once the trucker rebellion in Canada is pretty much suppressed. I mean, I don't know, we'll, 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 I don't know, it'll be back to normal for a little bit, but, you know, all that anger and frustration is only going to help out St. Nick's movement anyway, so, you know, I think everything will work out just fine for uh, for us. 
eventually. Okay, so that's that. I am in Z-Share again, Z-Share AVAX, and Z-Share Zilla. Most of my money is actually in this one, not the one above. Even though I want to be in the one above, I really want to help out the protocol, so I'm in this one. And again, the APY is really is the highest in these two anyway. And again, Z-Share version 1 is no longer going to exist by the time you watch this video. Uh, oh, in fact, here we go. We got, we got updates. All right, so according to David Zilla right now, just now on Discord, breaking news. Well, 10 minutes ago. Since we don't have our treasury, we will adopt a very simple conversion method for you. A little more elaborate for me. All of those who are in possession of LPs containing Z share version 1 or those who stake the thing will have to break the LP, unstake it in the end, and have all their Z share inside their wallet. Finally, you need to send your Z share version 1 to this address in order to receive Z share version 2 and offer liquidity? The time available is 24 hours from now. The pools that will be available will be uh, in this way. We'll solve our problem. We can finally create a two on three on ecosystem with a new Kong. Oh, oh, the, okay. He's referring to the version one tokens. Okay, I think that's what it is. I'm not. I actually should post this in. I should actually post this in the YouTube description, but to be honest, I don't want to deal with this. So, and I kind of don't want people messing with sending tokens to an address, even though it just came from David Zilla, so it's quite legit. But I don't want people bitching and asking me about technical questions, so I just read it out there. But they, this is why I just simply dumped all my Z shares as soon as I saw the announcement on Discord. It's like, yeah, I mean, I mean, version one Z shares. Yeah, and now it's tanking. Now it's at forty-seven dollars. It's going much, much lower. It's going much, much lower. However, you could play a gamble, I guess. Uh, I guess you could do a gamble where you could try buying Z share when it's at the bottom and then hope that the conversion ratio will be much higher. But you know what? I don't really want to deal with it because David Zilla is obviously a good guy, but he's willing to make the harsh, de harsh decisions. So you're probably not going to get that much. At least I think that's the case. Uh, you, you want to gamble? You could try doing the sending him the wallet thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually make you go to the Zilla Finance Discord yourself to read the announcement and do it yourself. All right, because that's how high risk this is. I don't want to deal with this. I already dumped it, so it was obviously the right move because I dumped it at 76. Now it's at 47. Uh, 76 to 47. So basically, it's just dropped 50 percent. But that's good. So there's probably going to be, by the time, so unfortunately, we're not going to see where these reward pools are going to go, right? We're not going to see that yet, but, you know, I know it's going to have to go back into these pools. So it's going to be really good. Um, uh, I'm probably just going to stay in Z-Share Zilla, right? I mean, unless AVAC Zilla is like 30%. Right, but if that's the case, then everything else is going to go up here anyway. So I'm still going to get a higher daily APY because everyone's going to ape back in. So I'll, I'll observe, I'll watch. Um, and again, daily APY will be higher, but then everyone's going to ape into a Vaxilla, so the TVL will skyrocket. So you're not going to get as much anyway. So I'm just going to just going to wait and see attitude. So. I will see you in the next video. I kind of want to take a break. I'm feeling better because I chugged so many of these, but I do want to go to Target as well so I can buy more egg white protein. Um, so let me see. What do I have next? I have based finance. I have magic finance. I have ice cream Sunday finance. My chicken farm, partial finance, gold mine finance. Uh, they're probably in a genesis right now. So I actually... Not even gonna look at that. I want to wait to see if they first are a rug pull. That's the first thing. And then apparently Tornado Cash has staking apparently, so I kind of want to look into that too. I have to watch some YouTube videos because I'm not messing with those Ethereum fees. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I'm still. But even on low gas, like pretty much no one's using Ethereum because it's nighttime, right? Uh, I still have to pay like four or five dollars for a transaction, which is really good for Ethereum. So. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. We have so much content. So, what day is tomorrow? Yeah, I kind of want to get these two videos out too. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share, share all my content. Grow. The channel's growing very nicely. So, thank you all for doing that. But keep growing it. All right.
because again, if you're going to put money in these tomb forks, you really do need to promote my videos. And I do these for free for now, right? So, you know, getting more investors, more interest means more TVL, more buyers. Yeah, more sellers, but that's the ecosystem, right? You make more money if you help me spread these videos around. Which I think is the reason why it's actually my channel is actually growing pretty well, and so is Dow Kings, right? So you know, help me help you, right? Essentially, all right. You're gonna be selfish, okay? But you want to make more money because you're self-interested. You gotta still promote my video, all right? Because you know why waste your time explaining to somebody? Oh yeah, just look at this Johnson Chan guy, all right? Makes a lot of money, explains a lot, good info. Right? Like, oh, okay. And then you're like, oh, then you're the person you told. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll buy into this project. Yeah, I'll put a little money in. See, and that starts the process. Right? This only succeeds if the community grows. Like it's it's that simple. So, all right, very good, very good. You have all the links. Uh, I'll make sure the YouTube description has the auto compounder and yeah. Uh, good things are happening. David Zilla is really taking this by the horns. I am very excited. All right, I'm just going to let the little Z-Share version 1 phase out, do its thing. It's going to last for 24 hours. You know, I'm very excited about the reward pools from version 1 start funneling into Zilla, right? The actual real Zilla and Z-Shares. So this is going to be great. I just need to hold a little while longer before taking profit and then ride this clown all the way back up to where it should be, right? So it's going to be really, really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. All right, see you next video. Thanks.